Hey there, Apprentice Paul here. I'm taking you on a journey where I learn about beekeeping in Australia. Today's episode is about making 10 frame beehive boxes from old timber pallets. This episode is brought to you by Thank You Honey Bee. Alright, I'm just going to start by making a few corrections from last week's video. Firstly, Dad kindly pointed out to me that he's had over 60 years experience beekeeping. He even thinks it may have been all his life because um, he can remember my grandfather having bees for a lot of years. So, um, yeah, so my grandfather had actually had bees for 80 years, so that's a long bloody time. I don't know why I've never got into it. Another thing was Dad said that I should change the size of the top bars to 26 millimetres. Um, I did some more research and I found out it's actually an inch, which is 25.4, so yeah, close enough to 26. So that's what I'll be doing in the future. Once I've done all that, um, I'm going to put a bit of wax in the frames. Um, I'm not putting any wax in the frames while I'm here because I'm currently in the Hunter Valley which is a Varroa zone. I'm in the red zone myself so I don't want to introduce any wax products into my beehives in this position just in case I draw bees in and um, there's a you know there's Varroa attached to the bee or whatever and it's, it gets in my wax and so I won't be keeping any. So as soon as I've put wax in those frames and I know they're right I'll post the, the drawings up on the YouTube homepage for you guys to be able to pull it out and make your own if you want to make your own. All right, so first up, I went and got these pallets um, just from a building site. Uh, this is quite thick material, so um, I'm going to have to strip it down a bit. Um, I was going to um, do a laminate, so I was going to have one piece of timber that way and another one that way. Um, to bind it together but because of the thickness of this I'm just going to use a tongue and groove um, and glue it all together to make the panels up and then after that I'll, I'll trim them back. First step will be to pull this timber off the pallet, second step will be to clean it up in the saw, third step to join it together and then after that I'll be going to make my, my beehive sizes. first thing I'm going to do is just dress along each edge of this timber and um, make it nice and square to the table. That way when I stand it up against the fence it will be running through nice and square. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go. I've just got to check the square on the blade again because I think it's, um, it's out a little bit. Um, the blade doesn't quite cover that thickness so what I'll have to do is just flip it over and and do it from the other side. I'm pretty happy at how that's dressed up. So I've got one side that's not the best, um, but I've got one side and one edge that's really, really good. So I'll make sure that I work off this edge all the time with these. I'll pick the best edge and then I'll work off that and I'll make sure that I put that to the outside of my box. So that way, when I make these together and glue them up, my grooves will line up perfectly and my edges will line up perfectly, including the outside edge. So that way I'll end up with a nice neat plank. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut all these to length. Um, I was going to do it on miter saw, but I have to... Miter saw, I really need to set it up on a table so I can use it properly. 
Um, at the moment, it's probably easier just to set a stop up on the table saw and use the, the bevel gauge. Alright, I'll go through and just rip all these up apart and we'll, we'll go for it. So while I was cutting those, there was a few pieces that just wouldn't work out. This this one ended up being 406 long for the side, but um, it had a few knots in the end, and I really don't want to have to deal with knots right on the very end of the timber. So yeah, I'll make something else out of it a bit later. On um, this one here, it was. I was going to end up with some uh, with these grooves going into it. I was like, nah, I've got another piece there. I'll just cut another bit. Anyway, so and this this one here, I was going to use it, but again, not not. So uh, I just thought, no, nah, I've got better timber, so I'll, I'll leave it out of there. Okay, I've got all my stock timber ready here to make the sides up. All I've got to do now is just run a groove in one side and then put the tongue on the opposite side. So I'll just run the grooves in using the router and then I'll use the table saw to do the, um, to do the tongues with. All right, I'll get into it. That's all my grooves nicely done. Now we're just going to make the tongue on the opposite side with the table saw. So first up I'll take a cut there and then one there and then I'll turn the timber, I'll change the saw and put a cut there and a cut there. That'll, that'll make our tongue for us. So there's the edges of the tongue, one there and one there. I've just got to take that off each side now. Lovely. So now I'll just run a bit of PVA down inside that groove. And find which way these are mated together. Try that a bit that way.
there you have it one nicely nailed together piece of timber relatively straight as well so you can see this bit of crap on the inside here I should have put that on the outside edge because when I trimmed that off it would have disappeared I didn't do it so it just means that the bees are going to have a bit of a messy inside just got to remember to make sure that I put that to the inside when I put the box together so when I trimmed all these boards up the other day I left them a bit long so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strip them all back to the correct height in the saw. Um, they should already be to length from memory, um, but I've just got to make sure of that too. So what I'll do now, I'll just go and cut all these back. And then we'll start putting the rebates in them for the, for the sides. These are the end boards, they're all sized up now. I've just got to cut a rebate in them for the side boards to fit into. Once I've done that, I'll trim the side boards to suit. There we have our nicely rebated board. Now our side boards will tuck in there just like that. There's the rebate for the side board to sit in. And now we've got the rebate for the frame to sit in on top. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to make a jig up so that I can cut a handle in the side. See how we go with that one. And that there, that's a good reason why you should never put your finger near where you're putting your nail. Poke straight out the side, it would have gone straight through my finger if I had had it there. A bit later down the track when I start doing a lot of these I think I'll um, make a jig up just to hold them in place a lot of glue on
probably a lot more glue than I'd normally use but I want to make sure that I fill a lot of those voids up We'll just measure diagonally, make sure they're square. And I'm out one millimetre. Spot on. Check that out. And there you have it, one beautiful little bee box made out of pallets. All my frames made out of pallets. I'm pretty happy with that. Well, there you have it. Two bee boxes made out of timber pallets. Look, it's great that I've repurposed this timber. It was just going to get thrown out, you know, end up in a landfill somewhere or something like that. Um, so what I've done there, I think, is a good thing. Would I do these again? I don't know. Maybe if I've got a bit of time on my hands. Um, I think I prefer to buy stock timber that size and then... Uh, make them that way. I don't think I'm ever going to buy a beehive knowing that I can make these as simply as I can. This process didn't take that long. Uh, stripping the timber down was probably the piece that took the longest. Again, I'm not sure. So it's got its pros and its cons. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you got a bit out of this episode. I didn't go into as much technical detail this time as I did with making the frames up. Um, there's a lot of information that's out there on making bee boxes, but what I will do is put the drawing up on the YouTube page, on the channel page, um, of the actual dimensions and sizes which are current to Australia. So there's that many bee box sizes out there and it was very confusing for me. Next week's episode I'm going to be making baseboards. Um, I'm going to start with just a solid baseboard but a deep one. Um, the reason for that is, is that's what I think I'm going to run with until I go to the new Plaz ones because I'm, I'm definitely looking at them. Alright, well until next week, be good and stay safe. Cheers.